In those massive bills in Tallahassee meant to stop runaway insurance costs, attorneys and legal costs are in the crosshairs. The accusations you've heard we've been talking about them include frivolous lawsuits and padded bills and outright fraud. Attorneys are fighting back, asking who else will protect homeowners against insurers. Anthony Lopez is the Miami attorney who, by industry count, has filed the most lawsuits in the state against insurance companies so far this year. Anthony, great to see you again. I know you can't see us, but we can see you and we appreciate your time today. Anthony, yeah, welcome. Happy Sunday morning. Yeah, thanks. Happy to be here. Great to have you here. Well, you have heard, I'm sure, some of the previous conversation. What is your reaction to the proposal to do away with insurance companies paying your or any attorney's legal fees if you are successful in the lawsuit? Yeah, and I think you hit the uh, nail on the head there. In order for, under the current statutory scheme, in order for an insurance company to be on the hook to pay attorney's fees, the policyholder, i.e. the attorney, has to win the case. Um, under the current proposed legislation, um, what Tallahassee is essentially uh, doing to consumers and Floridians is saying, um, whether you win or lose, you're on the hook for your own attorney's fees. Uh, and that's a big problem for uh, Floridians. Uh, you know, we live in Florida, hurricanes are, are part of our, our annual uh, ritual. And if you have a hurricane and you sustain damage under the, the proposed legislation, you're gonna have to come out of pocket to either pay an attorney uh, if you have to take them to court, or you're gonna have to give away a large portion of your claim um, to take them to court in the event you disagree with, with what they pay you, or if they wrongfully deny your claim. It's yeah. a big problem for Floridians. Yeah, and, and you are talking as an attorney who stands behind the cases he files against insurance companies. But if you listen to the conversations in the debate and when you read the bill, it, it looks like what the state of Florida is saying and lawmakers are saying are all, you know, all of these lawsuits are not good faith lawsuits. And I wonder if you would yeah. sort of address the fact that they're saying, listen, you know, attorneys go for what they go for. That's how law works in every single issue. And yes, that's how attorneys are paid. But in this time, for Florida to have so much more of a percentage of lawsuits to claims than any other state, speak to why all of these lawsuits may not be valid. Look, obviously I can't speak to every lawyer in the state of Florida that's filing lawsuits and whether or not they have merit, but I can tell you under the current statutory regime, in other words, where if you prevail in court, the insurance company has to pay your attorney's fees. I don't understand why a lawyer or a policyholder would be incentivized to file a frivolous lawsuit, because if you lose, you're not gonna get your attorney's fees paid and you're gonna be on the hook for costs. That's why I'm a little bit concerned about um, this manufactured, I guess, insurance crisis and how insurance companies are in Tallahassee touting that attorneys and fraud are the, the concerns. If you really look at the market in Florida and analyze it with respect to other markets in the country, the issue isn't policyholders and the issues in lawsuits. The issue is insurance companies in Florida are not incentivized to pay claims. Insurance companies in Florida are allowed to play shell games with what they do with their revenue. Um, you know, insurance companies in Florida, when they go out of business, are required to file a report with the Office of Insurance Regulation detailing um, why they went out of business and, and what happened and where the money went. That doesn't happen in Florida. The Office of Insurance Regulation is not doing their job. Um, we're not auditing these insurance companies to determine where the monies are going. Uh, insurance companies in Florida are playing a shell game with policyholders' money, and it's easier and cheaper for them to go out of business let uh, the Florida Insurance Guarantee Association, which Floridians foot the bill for, uh, take over um, their claims and, uh, and then they start a new insurance company. Yeah. That's the problem with Florida and that's the insurance crisis. All right, that's well you seem, yeah, excuse me, Anthony, you seem to sure. put your finger on a really serious issue and that is if the Office of Insurance Regulation is really falling down on the job, the body that really could tell them stand up and fight for the consumer is the legislature. Is the legislature failing in its responsibility too? The, the legislature is failing and, and you know, I, I really appreciate everyone up there. I know they work really hard. I've been in Tallahassee 
over the last five years advocating for Floridians and consumers and really trying to find a way uh, to balance uh, the, the struggle that exists between policyholders and insurance companies in Florida. Um, and look, I've sat down and, and had a conversation with Governor DeSantis. I've met with Jimmy Petronas on a number of occasions. And unfortunately, I think this legislation falls short of what we need to do in Florida. This is going to swing the pendulum in such a, a, an opposite direction of what we need, where it's really going to allow insurance companies to not pay any claims. They're not gonna have to pay valid claims. Uh, they're not gonna have to properly adjust your claim. Uh, the current uh, proposed legislation literally allows insurance companies in Florida to do whatever they want and consumers have no recourse. That, that's actually a really, a very broad statement. And I think, you know, I don't, I don't speak for attorneys or insurance companies, but th there are components of accountability put into this bill for insurance companies. And, you know, there two years ago, um, the legislature passed a bill that required insurance companies to report to the Office of Insurance Regulation um, what they were paying uh, to settle claims. In other words, what were they paying in attorney's fees, how much they were paying to settle claims, how much they were paying defense costs uh, to defend these claims. And, you know, to, as I sit here today, those reports have never been submitted. Uh, every insurance company in the state of Florida is in violation of that statute as we speak. Um, and I'm, I really makes you wonder who is supposed to be, why is that not being enforced? Because if really we're concerned about um, monies being spent on lawsuits, I think the data would be very telling. Yet the insurance companies aren't giving that data to the Office of Insurance Regulation, and it's not being uh, given to the public like it's supposed to. And that data was due two years ago. Yeah. Anthony Lopez, uh, your insurance attorney, uh, we are so glad to have a chance to speak with you and uh, thank you for your insights and expertise. Thank you for having me on. Thanks, Anthony. Of All right, last week at this time, Fort Lauderdale's mayor was holding up the swearing in of a political opponent. John Herbst is now seated and he is taking names and kicking rear ends. Well, <laughs> he'll join us next. <laughs>